Hello guys, uh, just a quick video today, I've been messing around with, well not messing around, I'm trying to study Kali and I thought I'd start to document some of my um, my trials and tribulations within it. One of them was probably the most simplest thing in the whole wide world but it will catch other people out so I hope this can help just one person and then at least the videos of some other use than just my own study notes and stupidity. But anyway, here we go. Um, I had a problem this time. I was trying to install something we using Git clone for the first time. Um, so this kind of this video runs over the use of Git clone, um, pulling in like um, a repo from Git, Git clone and trying to uh, execute it. It was a Python script, and uh, it, it, I mean this one was um, a script called USB kill by Hefiastos. I hope I said that right. Um, but basically, this um, the idea of the the script is to um, is to be able to detect whether or not there's a, a change in USB devices being used there. So, for example, if you were to step away for a cup of coffee and uh, somebody tried to put a rubber ducky in and, you know, with a password cracker or a remote access trojan on there being naughty, it would automatically shut your PC off within like a second. Um, likewise, if anyone tried to pull anything out, you know, or for example, say, you know, you're doing something you shouldn't do in a cafe and you a little bit suspicious, you got some feds or something <laughs> going to arrest you or drag you out by your neck. Um, if you've got something like a little USB chain there connected to your wrist and you pull it and your USB comes out, it's a change in USB devices, it would automatically shut your PC down. And obviously if you're using an encrypted drive, which you really should be if you're doing something that you really shouldn't be doing, um, or you just don't want other people to see, then that would be protected the next time they're logged on because of course you've already logged off. Um, but... Anyway, this is uh, me just removing up and mopping up an old uh, installation. I have practiced this a couple of times uh, just to kind of get it right. Uh, again, it's more just for my own practice, but uh, I thought I'd just let you guys see where everything is held. I've uh, CD'd into the forward slash etc, the Etsy file, uh, which is obviously where all this stuff's kept. Um, here I'm just checking to, to see if the command still exists. It does. Uh, so I need to root into the user local bin file and just remove the command. Um, it's just to tidy up so it looks so it's like as if you know it'll be like you guys are doing it and it's like a fresh and source. so you, what you will be seeing is now what I'll be seeing because it'll be it shouldn't be there and what we want to do is get it on there um, so obviously we go through the use of using a git clone um, we did a bit check there before the commands will be in the information um, below the video uh, on YouTube and uh, it'll just have, if you don't have git already installed, it's got the command there to install git. Uh, right now I'm just popping myself back into the Etsy folder, I'm ready to go. So navigate to the CD, so CD into the ETC folder, um, it's get yourself there and then git clone directly into this folder. Now I know this the particular repository already has, um, obviously it, it, it rep uh, the repo goes into its own folder so I'm not creating a folder myself I'm not making a directory in advance but that's just because I know this one's already got one so otherwise you'd have a double folder called you know um, USB kill forward slash USB kill and we don't want that but here we are we're going to go into the USB kill folder now and uh, you'll see there's a Python script there a setup Python uh, dot py sorry uh, I've got Python 3 installed, so I'm going to sudo using the Python 3 command. However, if you've got Python 2.0 or before, then you just use Python and then uh, sudo Python space and then um, go in for, um, uh, sorry, continue the setup.py. And uh, I tack tack help here into the, um, into the help file for the setup.py. It's just so I can see which um, commands are available to us before we get set up. Um, I'm a bit ahead of myself here, so just give me a second, there you go, I'm tack tack help and enter there. And you see there's two common commands, setup install and setup build. Um, so I'm going to run both of them, install first and then build after that. Um, so just, you don't have to put the tack build, it's just install, let it run, uh, sudo python3 setup.py space build, let that run. Voila, I mean right now it's pretty much installed, you can literally just sudo space USB kill and it'll run, it'll, it'll do everything it's supposed to do. I've cleared that up, I'm going to demonstrate that now. 
if you accidentally put Python 3 and then USB kill, you'll get an error that says could not find main function with some underscores around them. That's because it's you're trying to indicate that you know there's a Python script there. This is not a Python script. It's actually a USB kill command. It's already been you know built. So uh, that I had that problem and I kept on nutting the bloody screen. But anyway, we got round it. Um, so I'm just going to quickly control C out of this. Run it again, just so you know it's working. It's not a one-off thing. And yeah, that's going to protect you. I hope this helps somebody. If it helps one person, it's fantastic. Uh, I will be putting more videos up like this. So stay tuned, guys. Add me up. And uh, good luck on my journey and your journey. Uh, until the next video, dude. I'll catch you then. Thanks again.